The Real Mother Goose Once upon a time there was a young goddess who was so powerful that the land where she lived was known as the Fertile Crescent. She was honored, for the people knew that her powers made the plants grow and the animals thrive. The people were so rich that travelers came from far and wide to trade there. The goddess traded her dates for their linen cloth, glass and purple dye. Oh, she loved their exotic goods and they loved hers. One evening, she fell asleep on her throne of geese and dreamt about going on a great adventure to faraway places. She grabbed her goose and flew into the air searching for the traders. She followed their paths over mountain and desert until she caught up with them. And when she found them, she traveled on their tongues all the way to their homelands. First, she journeyed to a place in the mountains where the people were primitive and happy. Oh, she loved them and brought them prosperity. They recognized her powers and wove a plated harness for her geese and constructed a chariot for her pleasure. Her fame grew. Then she traveled to an island in the sea where she fell in love and took a husband. She was much loved for her beauty and sensuality and people there carved beautiful images of her. But her husband became domineering and took the credit for everything she did. Strange and tragic things happened to her daughter which made her grow sad and cold, so she left there and moved north. Next she stayed with the painted people, who were poetically fierce and the women strong and wild. She stayed past her middle age, but became bored with taking sides in their constant disputes. She and the goose traveled the rivers and coasts as rumors began to grow about the mysteries of her power. She retired to the forest in a little cottage, taking on the dress of the common folk, telling stories and dispensing medicine. But the world continued to change for the worse, and the leaders became increasingly greedy for more power, money, and violence. They became overbearing and afraid of her. They said she was old and dangerous and called her names. Even the very dress she wore was associated with strangeness and evil. They finally threatened to kill her if she spoke out. So she took to hiding and ate very little. She became so thin and flat that she could slip between the pages of a book. By then, almost everyone had forgotten her. Then one evening, sad and lonely and about to take her last breath, the book in which she was hiding flew open. <gasps> Gasped a voice in delight. There you are! The gasp was like a breath that filled the goddess with life. Even the goose squawked, and they both popped off the page. The gasp was mine. They now live with me, and I feed them, and they are fat and happy. And she is traveling again on my tongue and she wants to travel on yours.